Gather your people, O Lord. Gather your people, O Lord. One bread, one body, one spirit of love. Gather your people, O Lord. Draw us forth to the table of life, brothers and sisters, each of us called to walk in your light. Gather your people, O Lord. Gather your people, O Lord. One bread, one body, one spirit of love. Gather your people, O Lord. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The peace and grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. And Amen. With your spirit. Let us pause to ask God's mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have, have mercy. mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have prepared for those who love you good things which no eye can see, fill our hearts, we pray, with the warmth of your love, so that loving you in all things and above all things, we may attain your promises, which surpass every human desire. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The following message came to Jeremiah from the Lord. For thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, write all the words I have spoken to you in a book. For thus says the Lord, incurable is your wound, grievous your bruise. There is none to plead your cause, no remedy for your running sore, no healing for you. All your lovers have forgotten you, they do not seek you. I struck you as an enemy would strike, punished you cruelly. Why cry out of your wound? Your pain is without relief. Because of your great guilt, your numerous sins, I have done this to you. Thus says the Lord, See, I will restore the tent of Jacob, his dwellings I will pay. City shall be rebuilt upon hill, and palace restored as it was. From them will resound songs of praise the laughter of happy men. I will make them not a few, but many. They will not be tiny, nor will I glorify them. His son shall be as of old. His assembly before me shall stand firm. I will punish all his oppressors. His leader shall be one of his own, and his rulers shall come from his own kin. When I summon him, he shall approach me. How else shall one take the deadly risk of approaching me, says the Lord? You shall be my people, and I will be your God. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The Lord will build up Zion again, and appear in all his glory. And the, the Lord, Lord will build up Zion, Zion again, again, and appear in all his glory. The nations shall revere your name, O Lord, and all the kings of the earth your glory. When the Lord has rebuilt Zion and appeared to the, in his glory, when he has regarded the prayer of his destitute, and not despise their prayer. The Lord, Lord will build up, up Zion again, again and appear in all his glory. Let this be written for the generation to come, and that his future creatures praise the Lord. The Lord looked down from his holy height. From heaven he beheld the earth, to hear the groaning of the prisoners, to release those doomed who die. The Lord, the Lord will build, build up Zion, Zion again, again and appear in all his glory. glory. The children of your servants shall abide, and their posterity shall continue in your presence, that the name of the Lord may be declared on Zion, and his praise in Jerusalem, when the peoples gather together and the kingdoms to serve the Lord. 
Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory Glory to Lord. Lord. Jesus made the disciples get into a boat and precede him to the other side of the sea while he dismissed the crowds. After doing so, he went up on the mountain by himself to pray. When it was evening, he was there alone. Meanwhile, the boat, already a few miles offshore, was being tossed about by the waters, by the waves, for the wind was against it. During the fourth watch of the night, he came toward them, walking on the sea. When the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were terrified. It is a ghost, they said, and they cried out in fear. At once, Jesus spoke to them. Take courage, it is I, do not be afraid. Peter said to him in reply, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. He said, come. Peter got out of the boat and began to walk on the water toward Jesus. But when he saw how strong the wind was, he became frightened. And beginning to sink, he cried out, Lord, save me. Immediately, Jesus stretched out his hand and caught him and said to him, O oh, you of little faith, why did you doubt? After they got into the boat, the wind died down. Those who were in the boat did him homage, saying, Truly, you are the Son of God. After making the crossing, they came to the land of Genezareth. When the men of that place recognized him, they sent word to all the surrounding country. People brought to him all those who were sick and begged him that they, that they might touch only the tassel of his cloak. And as many as touched it were healed. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> Peter is such a great model for all of us in terms of our life of faith because we are uh, sometimes filled with faith, filled with hope, and ready to step out of the boat and walk on the water. And other times we are gazing at ourselves, we are uncertain, we are unsure, we're full of doubts, and we begin to sink into the waters of life and have to call out to the Lord to save us, to pull us up. And always he does. And each time he helps us to trust just a little bit more as we are called to walk to him and to follow him. We ask the Lord to help us also <clears throat> as Peter to try and to attempt to always be strong in faith, but to know that when our faith falters, the Lord will lift us up. Let us stand to pray. Let us offer our <clears throat> prayers to the Lord who stretches out his hand to save us, that the Lord may build up his church like a city on a hill, a bright haven for his people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. That the leaders of all nations and peoples may be blessed with the compassion of Christ in serving their people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. That women facing difficult or unplanned pregnancies may receive compassionate care and the support they need, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That Jesus' love may conform us ever more to his own heart as we strive to follow him more closely, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer that our beloved dead and all those who have died may know the fullness of life in heaven, most especially for Kevin Young, being remembered at this Mass, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. But what else shall we pray? For peace in the Ukraine and in our own country, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For my brother Peter fighting cancer, we pray to the Lord. 
the Lord hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, you give power to the weak and guidance to the lost. Hear the prayers we offer today in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness, we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, the work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May, May the Lord accept, accept the sacrifice at our hands, hands for the, the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. church. Receive our oblation, O Lord, by which is brought about a glorious exchange, that by offering what you have given, we may merit to receive your very self through Christ our Lord. Amen. <laughs> The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you and all the redeemed praise you and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels as in joyful celebration, we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and the resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, and all the men and women who serve the church. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, 
and all who have died in your mercy, especially Kevin, remembered at this Mass. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. In confidence, we pray now as Jesus taught. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. 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 The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. 
made partakers of Christ through these sacraments, we humbly implore your mercy, Lord, that conformed to his image on earth, we may merit also to be his co-heirs in heaven, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Right. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. We'll sing just the refrain of number 313. Gather your people, O Lord. Gather your people, O Lord. One breath.